Look at that. Corporal's Corner, king of the dirt nappers. All right, it's that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And I'm thinking I issue myself a challenge. Solo overnight, building a fighting hole at 46 years old. Let's get to it. Now, in last week's video, we built a skirmisher trench, which is what you see right here. We're down a good, probably 14 inches. We have the berm around us. It's enough to get in there, hide your body, still be in the prone position with a rifle and be able to shoot outward in that direction. Okay, and also if small arms fire were to come this way, six to 10 inches of earth should stop them. Okay, it's a simple thing that's used by the military all over the world. And different variations of this exist. We covered ours with a tarp, turned it into a civilian survival bushcraft shelter to block the elements and the rain. So now taking this same structure, I'm gonna go ahead and push the berm forward and give myself an elbow rest, okay? Then I'm gonna dig down to my chest depth, somewhere in there, right around here, and increase the width of our berm. At the same time, give ourselves a step, a grenade sump, and then settle in for the night. So I'll use the head of this shovel right here as a marker for distance. I'm happy with that distance right there. So we'll do that all the way around and then start digging down. I call it an elbow rest for your rifle, but honestly it keeps the dirt from rolling back in there as well. Long way to go. Um, luckily, I'm dealing with clay and mud. Now, someone's gonna say, try that East Texas lols. Well, first off, I don't live in East Texas. And being in the Marine Corps in the mid to late 90s, a captain would issue an order from whoever it came from, lieutenant colonel, base commander, whatever, and then they would come on site to observe. And by morning, damn it, it better be done. So I've dug these all over the world, all over the country in the most hellish condition you can think of where there's boulders that big and four dudes, an entire fire team are digging them out, like pulling the thing out of there. Finishing seconds before the battalion commander walks through just to bury it back up. So I've been there, done that. So I'm soaking wet. And I'm about halfway done. It's about 85 degrees today with about 70 to 80 percent humidity and this sucks. It's like being in Okinawa, Japan or Thailand somewhere. Um, so we're making headway and I'm hoping the next couple hours I'm giving myself two hours we should be right around my chest depth right here that includes the berm. So uh, more great things to come. Check this out right here this is all sweat baby. Look at that, 100% USA, made in America. Bottle this, put it on Etsy, million dollars.
another foot or so, we should be in business. But I am a white boy and this hole ain't gonna dig itself. So back at it. Corporal's Corner, king of the dirt nappers. So one more foot and we should be in business. Then we have the infamous, which means more than famous, the infamous grenade sump. The infamous grenade sump, one to three feet deep. Choice is entirely up to you. The deeper is always the better. The grenade goes off this way and this way, okay? So the deeper you go, the more shock from that grenade is gonna be absorbed into those walls and the less it's gonna come upward, okay? So typically a grenade is launched, three to five second burn time. It's gonna be hurled into that fighting hole. If you happen to see it, you kick it into the grenade sump, roll away, and if you played your cards right, you live to talk about it. Blue means practice, 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 practice. Also, there's no blasting cap inside there, so it's dead, it's a dummy grenade. World War II design has this waffle cone on here. Typically grenades, 45 feet or 15 meter casualty radius, meaning you may live, or a five meter, 15 foot kill radius, means you may die. These small pieces of waffle right here break off, hurl through the air, molten metal, blast to rip through your body like it was butter, okay? The round ones nowadays from modern times are called baseball grenades. So, grenades typically have three safeties. A thumb clip, which mine is missing, a pin, and then the blue spoon. In that case, the real ones are green. The grenade will not go off as long as that spoon is held down. So, thumb clip, flip it. Pin, pull it. Hold on to the spoon, prepare to throw. You throw it, and hope for the best.
and that's what we're talking about right there. Corporal's ribeye. That is outstanding. And it goes perfect with this meat fork. Talk about that in a minute. Catch you all in a few. Nothing like juicy ribeyes cooked over a campfire. So I showed you this meat fork and I told you we'd talk about it, so here we are. These are the new Corporal's Corner forged meat forks. If you look at it, it's basically a large version of my forged forks that I carry in my store. Uh, a lot of people were asking about it. They said, hey, why not make those longer for a campfire or a barbecue? So guess what? Today's your lucky day. A couple of features on here. We got three to three and a half inch tines right here. You can stab that meat, flip it over. Um, about 16 inches in length. The back end, we have a loop right here so you can put a lanyard on it and hang it on a hook or on a Y branch out in the woods. Most important feature to me is that loop back here is actually kicked upwards and here's why. It actually works as a hook to lift any bush pot or bottle out of your fire. I think it was a midweek video, I talked about one bushcraft tool to rule them all. And I made basically a pot notch and then shoved a stick inside there to take a bottle out. The same thing can be done right here. Put a stick in there, put it, wedge it into your bottle, the wide mouth of your stainless steel bottle, lift it out of the fire. So here you go. Along with this, we have our cold handle skillets, military surplus gear, hat patches, OD green bag patches are back in stock. We have the gray ones as well and combo packs to, that are basically designed to conserve or reduce the shipping cost. And they're actually at a lower price as well, buying them in bulk. What else do we have in there? We have our forks, we have our strikers, which are going crazy by the way. Um, the sparks just rain off those bad boys like it's a meteor shower. And we have our um, frog gigs. Lost in thought there for a minute. So. Go to my video description box, click on the Etsy page, and good luck, because the Etsy store is open. So the one thing I'll address really quick here, because someone's going to ask about it, is where you get that grill. Okay, It's 6 inches wide by 12 inches in length. It comes with this carrying case, this wax canvas, from a company called Drix. And that is found in my Amazon affiliate link, right next to the Etsy and Hardcore Hammers link in the video description box check them out, um, send them a comment, text, and let them know I sent you. Um, very happy with these. I was never happy with those small, you know, three and a half inch wide by nine inch. You can't get large stakes on there or multiple stakes. I mean, you can, but it's all smashed together. Um, I've always been a fan of these large grills, um, and these are very, very versatile. At some point in the future, I'll actually put a video out showing you all the things you can do with just a grill. Um, saves weight conserve space um, we'll get to this down the road maybe a midweek video um, but yeah check them out link is inside my video description box you know you lay here and you actually it looks like a grave all the times I've done this all over the world all over the country you know you're what 18 19 20 21 22 um, just out of high school and you don't always stop and think about it, but you know, here I am 46 years old. And I just accomplished something, the same thing I would have done when I was 22. So, and we did it in about four and a half, five hours, okay? And am I happy with it? Yeah, but sitting here reflecting on this, it's like, if I live to be 92, my life is half over. So there's fewer days ahead than there are behind. And at some point, I'm gonna be laying inside this bad boy, for real taking the ultimate dirt nap. So, something to think about is I look around at these walls closing in on me, you know, it's like, gotta make every day worth it. So, on that note, I'll catch you all in the morning. Well, that was a rough night. You wake up every 10 minutes looking around. It's like, did I die in my sleep? I don't know. Um, yeah. 
Coffee time. Ugh. Where I talked about the Etsy store being open, one thing I failed to mention, I forgot, was we now do universal shipping on all the patches. So those in other countries that want to get a hold of some of the Corporal's Corner swag, hat patches, bag patches, universal patches, combo packs, check it out. Universal shipping is now available. Catch you all in a few. <sighs> Nest Crap Fay. Why? Because I'm out of Juan Valdez. Go and talk about that shelter, military fighting hole. Um, one thing we didn't put in was aiming stakes and fields of fire and do a range card. Why? Because that's all military. We're civilians now, okay? Um, no point in doing that. And with that, I have to put a weapon out there and show you how it works. And like I've said, I'm not showing weapons on my channel. And someone's gonna say, well, so-and-so shows weapons on their channel. Two things, watch so-and-so's channel if you wanna see weapons. Two, so-and-so will only get away with that for so long or it's like making militant podcasts or anti-government podcasts. You're gonna get away with it for so long and then YouTube's gonna slap your hand and then you're gonna see so-and-so doing Nugenics Toll Tea commercials on Facebook, like a few are because you're demonetized. And that's a fact. Um, so you're not gonna see me do anything like that on my channel. However, I can show you this because why? It's a shelter. And the challenge for me was I'm 46 years old. Um, did this in the mid 90s um, when it was famous and still used um, all over the world, all over the country, different bases, um, different terrain. So I know it can suck. Um, but the challenge was for me, again, I'm 46. Yes, that's me in the middle right there, team leader AF. Here's to you, boys. So, I did this in 2012, and I was 35 then, okay? And I did it just to do it to see if I still could, and now we did it 11 years later, and I still can, but I'm asking myself, why would I want to? So, most likely, that's my last hoorah for digging something like that, and I probably won't do it again. Go ahead and end this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Etsy store, or my Etsy page. Both links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.